I shoot pretty much everything bracketed. It's just a habit I got into because I enjoy the flexibility of having an exposure either side, a stop or two above a properly exposed image. That does not mean, however, that I turn all those bracketed shots into HDRs. Far from it. HDRs or exposure blended photos have their place and I've got nothing against them. I do regularly make them, but I always try to get a single exposure working before turning to exposure blending because you end up with a far more natural looking shot. And there's a very cool technique you can use which plays to the strengths of raw files and the latitude in terms of dynamic range that you have in those images to pull out lots of details and have a beautifully exposed natural looking landscape photo just using one very underexposed raw file. So let's fire up Adobe Lightroom Classic and I'll show you how it works. The secret to this technique is an inverted radial mask with a big old feather on it. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So in this photograph here, as you can see, we have the vast majority of the photos in heavy shadow, but the highlights are perfectly exposed. So we need to retain those perfectly exposed highlights and just bring out everything else without resorting to an HDR. Let's grab a radial gradient. We're going to make sure that the feather is at 100. I'm going to center it on the sky. I'm going to drag out about this far, and then I'm going to invert it. So what that means is that everything outside the mask is going to be affected by all of our changes. And we're only going to make one very simple change, which is to turn up the exposure by about two stops. So there we go. I'm bringing out all the little foreground detail there. Actually, it's closer to three stops of light. So all of this information was tucked away in the raw file. We've now brought it out, but we've retained a nice, beautiful level of exposure on these highlights. However, we can take things a step further. Firstly, we need a natural fall off on the sky, and we accomplish that with a simple linear gradient. I'm just going to drag down a very short distance from the sky, and I'm going to mimic the way the sky fades naturally in photographs. I'm just going to drop that down by about, what's that, about one stop. And now we just need to accentuate the subject of this photograph, which is not the sun, but these beautiful flowers here. So let's grab a new radial gradient. And we're just going to drag that across there, stretch it out this way, because we've got this band of interest across the middle here with this heavy feather, and let's just turn up the exposure slightly on that, just to bring the light out on those. Maybe warm them up very slightly, add a touch of clarity and texture, and there we go. We've gone from that to that. We've get, kept the beautifully exposed highlights, we've brought out everything in the shot, and we've done it without having to resort to exposure blending. Here's another example. Perfect exposed highlights. Lots of detail lurking in the raw file. Let's grab the radial gradient. Make sure that feather is turned up to 100. Center it on the sky. We're going to drag out here. And you can see everything in red is what's being affected. So we need to invert this mask. So now... Everything outside, and you can see we've just got this band in the middle here where the sun is that is not being affected. We don't need to do anything to that because it'll just blow out the highlight. So let's bring the exposure right up on this. About the same as the last one, I think, about three stops. That's looking nice. Then we just need to add our sky mask, which was a little linear gradient, just to darken that and make it look as natural as possible. 
And then we've got this beautiful wave here. We're going to grab another radial gradient, centered in the middle here, drag that all the way out, rotate it so it's running along the axis of the wave. I might stretch that out slightly because remember, we've got a heavy feather on this. And let's just bring the exposure up on that. And perhaps the shadows. I think we could stretch this out even further so we get more of the wave. In fact, I'm going to shunt that down there so I can make this super long. Okay, let's bring it back. Got a nice little accent running along the wave here. Let's bring the white point up. A little bit of warmth. And there we go. Three very simple masks. Here's our before. Here's our after so there you go guys as you can see it was a very simple technique a great way of bringing the best out of a single exposure using only traditional masks i hope you enjoyed this little tips video if you did you know the drill hit the old like button leave me a comment and if you do enjoy this content please remember to subscribe to my channel for more drone video and photo related content from me. Till the next time, guys. Ta-ta.